Hi everyone, this is Munir here from KWP. Today I would like to walk you through to a TV Image Hotspot plugin, which is an incredibly in, incredibly powerful plugin. If you would like to add hotspot type of content on your images like this, so we have just released the update version 1.2, and I'll walk you through uh, to the plugin all the features of this plugin and will highlight the updates in this uh, features added in this update as well so what this plugin does is basically you can add an image and then add multiple hotspot pointers uh, on the image and you can set them you can set basically unlimited hotspots like this and then you could have unlimited customization options as well you can you make use of the dv icons insert any icons here and then customize the tooltip content the way you like so in this update version 1.2 we have also uh, listened to our customer feedback and have added another option earlier there was only a possibility to display the content in the tooltip but now you can also display the content in a model so this is the tooltip which is triggered on hover and this one is triggered on click and it's a model so you can have the combination of both in within one module or you can create separate as well then we have also added new waste new triggers for your tooltip content you can either have the tooltip enabled by default which is always visible like this or you can make use of on hover effect which was already available since start then we have also added on click trigger you can it will work like this and then we have also improved the mobile positioning so now uh, you can customize the position of your tool to like like right now this is on the top and if I move my window and I'll show you I have set this to like here it is so on tablet I have set it to display on right just for demonstration and as you can see for mobile it is set to bottom so it, it it's really powerful if you have multiple hotspot and you need to control the positions of different hotspot for mobile so it does not get cut on the mobile screen so what you can build with this is really uh, really uh, limitless and i'm presenting here some of the use cases like you may have some charts image charts basically uh, the chart plugins uses JavaScript and are pretty useful in cases you really want to present a lot of data. But if you have really simple data and you can put a background image of chart and then add some pointers on it with some statistics, which is the content. And in this demo, I have set the tooltip trigger to static or always visible so it is always visible to the users and then you can obviously display some features in an interactive way like this so consider this as interactive blurbs or the blurbs on hover this is the example as well as you can see there are multiple use cases for this you can have a static maps also to display your location of whatever you want basically like this one so there are multiple use cases for this let me show you from the back end how it works so let me edit this one so so here is the panel basically each art spot is a child module you can add as many as you want so I'll add one for you once you add when you add a hotspot it appears on somewhere like this and then you can set adjust the 
icon whichever you want and then adjust position by dragging it in the visual editor live so like this or like this okay i'll leave it here for now and then you can display your con select the option where you want to display your content as a tooltip or in the model i'll select model for this demo so then you can you add your content in the content you can add an image and a title my title my title here and then your content here i'll just put some dummy content here it is and then you can also have display a button so my button my button and url that's it and there are a lot of customization options for the pointer for the tooltip for the model image tags button etc you can all all styling options are in the design tab and are self-explanatory so i'll just click this okay and you can see the model also displays in the visual builder fine so this is how you use it this is really powerful plugin you can create a lot of interactive uh, interactive stuff interactive content sections on your pages hope you like it thank you